Senator Amidala. An unexpected privilege. Senator Dodd, please forgive me for arriving unannounced. Oh no, always a pleasure to see you, my dear. I hope you and I can make a fresh start. I came here with the very same hope. I believe in second chances. So do I, Senator. So do I. My servants will see you to your room. Clovis and I have some business to discuss. We'll create unimaginable new war profit. The largest droid factory ever built. As long as the Republic doesn't find out, you should never have brought a member of the Senate here. I agree, Lord Pogo. For all the risks we're taking, we should be getting a greater share of the profits. No, a deal is a deal. I'd hate for something to happen to you. You forget yourself, Clovis. You cannot threaten me on my own planet. This is hardly your planet anymore. Not since you signed your holdings over to the banking clan in return for a stake in this new droid foundry. We have company. The hologram. Padme, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm sorry to intrude. I, I was lonely, so I came looking for you and... My dear, I'll give you a proper tour later. Now let me take you back to... I'll see you at dinner. See my room. How do you think I feel? I hate the thought of answering to Clovis. But perhaps we won't have to, now that we've finally found his weakness. What if we were to poison Senator Amidala? I think Clovis would do anything to save her, and only we would have the antidote. <laughs> Senator, as my honored guest, please share this drink with me. A toast to our new friendship. Of course. Come, Senator. Everyone is eager to meet you. What a wonderful meal. My compliments to the droid. Her symptoms. She's been poisoned. What do you mean? She could die. Get a hold of yourself, Senator. She is a Republic spy. What? No. What is going on, Clovis? I'm sorry, Lot. Senator Amidala is very ill, and we're taking her to her ship. If Senator Amidala is ill, she should not be moved. I have contacted the authorities on Naboo. They thought it best to take her back to Coruscant. The doctors there are better equipped. You cannot leave! Give me the antidote, or you're dead! You pay for this. Give Clovis the antidote. Your kindness is much appreciated, Senator. Take her, quickly! Have you lost your mind? Clovis, we need to talk. Trade Federation is neutral in this, but Pantora must pay its debt before we can resume commerce with the system. That is a lie. It is well known that the Trade Federation is aligned with the Separatists. Slanderous. We are not Separatists simply because we do business with them. How many times must I remind you of the Commerce Treaty of 1647? The Trade Federation is neutral. It has come to our attention that the ugly head of the Separatist has once again raised itself in the ranks of our very own Trade Federation. Newt Gunray's influence extends farther than we ever imagined. It was Sib Kane, acting on his own accord, who kidnapped the children of Chairman Papanoida. In good faith, we have returned them to him. 
and also as a gesture of friendship, we are removing our blockade and reopening trade with the Pantorans. Bankruptcy is not necessary, my friends. If we pass Senator Sam's bill to open new lines of credit, we will gain access to the needed funds. But this... That legislation would have meant billions for us. I tried my best to push the bill through. You did your part, Representative. Senator Amidala is the problem. I thought age might temper her idealism. I know people who could do something about her. That task is more difficult than you presume. Gentlemen, the Banking Clan and Trade Federation are about business, not violence. Hmm. In this case, our business is violence. Precisely. With or without Senator Amidala, the Galactic Senate is unlikely to deregulate the banks until this war hits home. What exactly are you proposing? Perhaps some unexpected bloodshed on Coruscant uh, may change a few minds. Coruscant? Coruscant has not been attacked in over 1,000 years. Then it has a false sense of security. There are some powerful clients on the other side who could help us, uh, shall we say, make the point. Hmm. I like this plan. No one cares what you think. This is quite troubling. Your own Senate voting to end the war? I assure you, gentlemen, your worries are gravely exaggerated. How can you be sure this groundswell of peace won't continue? Where is the attack we were promised? We need fighting to feed the machine and our profits. After our attack, the chances of peace will disappear. The banking clan, the trade federation, and the techno union will all get their fair share. And then some.